One of the problems with Kansas soils is they tend to be very heavy in clay. But we don't always talk about the benefits of our Kansas soils, and that is they're very nutritious. So all we need to do is provide a little organic matter, and we can turn those hard, yucky soils into lush soils that will grow great bounty in the garden. This soil over here has been improved recently with organic matter, and you can see how easy it is to fluff and turn and plant in. As opposed to this area here, which I haven't done anything to. You can see how hard and sticky and how it just comes up. One of the best ways to improve our hard Kansas soils is to add organic matter. That could be compost, peat moss, it can be purchased, or it can be a product you make in your backyard. Ideally, you want to work the soil to a depth about six to eight inches. The reason for that is that's the depth that most root systems need to grow at for a healthy plant. We can start then by chopping up that hard clay, and we're just going to continue to work up that area. You also want to avoid working soils that are overly wet because it'll just turn into clods and be harder to work later on. Now I'm going to use a prepared cotton burr compost here and what I recommend is a good about four inches. I know that sounds like a lot but we're going to work that four inches into the soil. We're almost going to make it 50-50 our heavy Kansas clay soils and organic matter. We're going to turn and chop and get that working into the soil. Many of us that organic matter just sprinkle a light layer, maybe an inch or so. And there's really not enough organic content then to change the structure of that soil. So you need that four to six inch layer. So if you've had problems growing healthy plants in the garden, try improving the soil before planting. A little bit of organic matter does wonders. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.